Oh, hello there, and I hope you enjoyed that. That was the Christmas build I'd been promising for a while, and I think I managed to do something both Christmassy and Minecrafty. but uh, do let me know what you think, please. So, here I am again, back at the portal to the Mesa, and I did say the last time I was here, what I really want to do is get this area sorted out, because, let's be honest with you, it's a complete and utter mess. And uh, just look at these stairs here, they're terrible. And it just lowers the tone of the entire area apart from the chance to go boing de 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 boing Yeah, I'm bored with that now. Uh, so eventually I hope we will see the uh, new set of stairs that I've dug out, stroke built out, which are going to go down here and as you can see I had to build them across this canyon here and they then go down here and they stop a little bit short so I'm gonna to have to knock out this uh, portal I think and put another one in down here which by some strange coincidence I've done already. So this is now going to be our portal through to the never and this one comes out and it's going to get replaced by those stairs. So let's do that while we're talking. Okay so yeah Christmas decorations. I, we thought about a tree, we thought about a wreath, we thought about doing a turkey but let's face it the chicken would have just got jealous. So, I, I was looking at a slime the other day and I was thinking, you know, they would look so good with a little Santa hat on and then it just clicked. So that was what we did. And no, I, th I think I liked the way it, it turned out and uh, I still might do a couple of bits and pieces behind it because it's not hugely Christmassy at the moment, but uh, those will be builds for another day. We still have a few days for Christmas. I'm recording this on the 20th. Well, actually, it's the 21st now. Uh, let's just check to make sure this one still works. And it's not going to create me a brand new portal. Because rerouting these things can often be a bit dangerous. And downloading terrain. And that worked perfectly. Okay, so we can now get our stairs in so let's just do that quickly let's take a bit of cobble yeah I have a bit of cobble that's excellent and we shall just build these down just rough because it doesn't need to be fantastically neat at this point though it does actually have to be in the right place that would help a lot so one there and final one there that's we can then widen this all out nicely and start making it look good and the the colors I'm going to go for here are this diorite and uh, orange clay and I think the combination of the two is going to be quite nice so first of all let's open this room up a little bit and neaten it up a touch get rid of some of this cobblestone because we don't need it anymore Woo. let's play dodge the unexpected hole that's what she said I'm sorry about that <laughs> just clear all this up this is either a zombie around here or someone with a Terrible nasal infection, one or the other. Uh, yeah, let's take it back this far. Yes, I know, I keep on throwing myself in that hole. Alright, okay, so... Let's get this neatened up a bit. Right, like this. I think if that's going to be the staircase, the walls only really need to go back a little bit. So we'll take them back 
two on either side. Yeah, that, feel, that feels about right. So, uh, right, let's get some diorite on our bar to start off with. And start laying the floor a little bit. Though, I think I don't like that being the same colour as... This is, well, identical, let's say. Let's try what see what polished diorite looks like there, shall we? Just, we've got plenty of the stuff, so... Let's just try that as well. So, here we go. Mm, that looks interesting. Oh, I think I know what would work there. And we're going to need a different sort of stone. We have to find some granites. Like this. Hello, granites. Just what I was looking for. Let's do a checkerboard pattern. A bit traditional, but what's wrong with a bit traditional from time to time? So let's grab some of this. Probably going to want a lot more of this, but... Uh, this will do for now. There we go. Alright, so. Just take those out. Let's polish that granite up. And see how that works. Actually, quite like that, I think. Okay, so there's our floor. I want this to go out a bit wider. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and yep, yeah, there we go. Let's just finish this off. It's always, so I mean, I always find it a, a, a bit difficult just to, you know, I don't plan these out per se, you know, as in sort of going to a creative world and building them first and then coming on here and trying them out. So this is all on the fly and occasionally you've just got to stop and think a little bit, which is not necessarily a problem really, is it? So... Right, we will take, yes, let's take this as the wall, so we want that out, and we're going to be needing to go up a level, aren't we? So let's take this wall here out. Right, this starting to get a quite a nice little cozy landing area which we can put some lighting in perhaps a few bits of decoration and that look good so there we go this one layer as well needs to go and so does that and, okay and Right, so what we want here is we now want the diorite and we now want the orange clay. Worried that's going to clash hideously, but we'll see in a minute. If it does, then we'll put the, uh, the granite in instead. But I think it might be alright, but let's find out, shall we? So, like that. Okay. And this is going to follow the stairs up like this. Let's just do the starting part of the stairs just to get the look. Oh, and stop trying to put things twice. <laughs> uh, sign that I'm getting a bit tired. 
Okay, like that, and then it'll be like that. Just do a few of them just to get the, the pattern right. Orange, orange, orange. Oop. Okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that with the right tool. So the floor will come around here. Yeah, I think this may work. Uh, okay, so let's get the rest of this wall out quickly. Just like this. Oh, almost went through to the nether there. Uh, quite honestly with you, I've had spent so much time in the nether recently building that railway tunnel. I'm getting a bit sick of the place, so quite happy to take a break from there for the moment. So let's get these built. And of course, this means I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff around spawn, and I, I have a few ideas of a few builds, which I hope will be fun for everyone. Get rid of that one. So, yeah, we're going to want to take out this bit of stone here. One more layer. And this bit up here. Like this. I think we'll put just a block of obsidian in these corners here just to make it there you go. We're not don't need to cut corners. <laughs> we don't need to cut corners on that anymore, so we can just put some obsidian in. I'm actually thinking just leave, leaving the ceiling as smooth stone. I think that's going to make a nice contrast. Okay, that works. So let's get this bit in. Back to the orange clay. So that will be there. Up from one over. So actually, what we want to do is there. And orange clay there, and there, and orange clay there, and there, and orange clay there. Yep, that's about right. And we'll put those in. And then let's get this wall in place. Oh, nope, that's wrong place. So I actually want some die right there. And then the wall's going to go here. That's right. Yep, that looks better. Bit more, no, no more polished. I want normal for this one, I think. And I really enjoy working with diorite. I've not actually worked much with this stone up to this point, so this is pretty much the first time in 1.8. And it's loads of fun. It's a really nice colour. Such a shame you can't do things with it like stairs yet. But I should imagine that will come with time. Okay. And then we want some orange clay in there. And we're going to have to start thinking seriously about lighting this place now because it's getting much darker. I've got a couple of ideas for that.
Let's see how they go. So, range from A. Let's go back to the diorite, just get this corner done. I see there's a bit of uh, diorite in the ceiling there, which I'm going to have to replace with smooth stone. So I'm going to have to go and cook some in a little bit. So there we go, and let's get these bits of cobble out there. And put some diorite in there. So this is interesting feel to it now. So this roof area, let's just patch that for a second with uh, diorite. I don't think I've got any smooth stone on me. Nope. But uh, I know I've got some upstairs, so I can sort of that out. And right, thinking about lighting. Interesting how the light it lights up over this side, but not this side. Presumably, oh, of course, that's sort of imitating the fact that the light. Yeah, okay, I like that actually. Um, it's not a radiation light source itself; it's just reflecting the light through from the other side in the nether. Which, yeah, interesting idea. So, oh, all that. Thank you. Let's get that last bit of flooring in. There we go, that looks good. And lighting. Let's just Feels a little bit clumsy. But... Hmm. We'll work on that. Let's get this ceiling in. So, okay, let's go and get some smooth stone. And we get to try out the new route this time. We go boingy, boingy, boingy this way. As uh, what we're going to need for this, as well as narrowing it down and putting walls in, is lots of stairs. Because, let's face it, this is a pretty horrible way to travel, isn't it? So while we are cooking up some smooth stone, I will make some stairs as well. We use the oak. Whoa. We use the oak because, uh, like everything else here, it's been sourced locally. I have that out and cook me up a bit of that, if you would. Let's give you a, a bit more coal. There we go. And... Right, so let's go and get ourselves some oak. I said let's go and get ourselves some oak, not let's go and throw our glowstone all over the place. Gonna want to use glowstone for lighting the stairs, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the need to do something a bit subtle, so it's gonna be sort of recessed lighting. Right, let's get some saplings out of this. This whole idea here is to be sustainable. And if I cut down these two trees and don't replace them, then we've all got to wander all the way over there to get some more stuff, which is sort of defeats the object, really, doesn't it? Right, that's given me two saplings, that's all I need. So, yeah, this is going to be coming out, what, on the 21st, so everyone should be gearing up uh, for Christmas. You should either be organized or desperately doing some last minute shopping or thinking I'll do some last minute shopping next week. One, well, something like that. Um, which category do you guys fit in? I know which category I can fit in. I've got all my presents already. So, uh, <laughs> admittedly, uh, it's been an experience this year shopping for a three year old little boy and a one year old little girl, my nephew and niece. Oh, uh, yeah, that was that was that was interesting to say the least. Let's get rid of some stuff here. I don't want those. And 
there's not really that much I want to throw away here, so I'll stick the rest in some of the rest into a chest. But uh, what I want to do to start off with is make some stairs. So like that, and then let's get the last of that in. And go. Oh, only 28. We'll have to do that in stages, I think. But it's going to be enough for us to get a feel for what this is going to be like. So one there, one there. Yeah. It's just look better. And I think those colours are going to go very well. And it's also going to be good. Oop. Oh, we're there already. Alright, so let's get that one. So that goes there. And then we gotta start down this way. Not quite enough. But those trees will be grown fairly soon and we can get the rest out of there. So that works quite nicely. Still got all these walls to do, which I think I'll probably do off camera and show you the the, the final version. I do you like the colouring? Right, let's get this uh, diorite out of the ceiling. Uh, over this side. Yep, one more over this side. Might as well do that one while I'm at it. Now it's all smooth stone, that looks a bit better. There's our basic room. And if we head back upstairs now, we can start doing these walls on the way up. So, right, that works. Okay, so we want diorite, we want orange clay, so that will be there, there. Do this in sections. <laughs> I'm really glad to be finishing this because this, as enjoyable as this job has been, it has stretched out a bit. So I'm really feeling the urge to move on to other projects now. And also. I'm just very glad to open up the Mesa to everybody. Uh, so. and I should have thought about the canyon when I thought about digging this way, but by that point, well, the entire house was facing in this direction, so it was pretty much a given that the stairs were going to have to come down this way. Yeah, we need to do something about lighting. And I have an idea about that. When I got this wall in, we will give it a try. Uh, back to the diorite. dark and horrible now but we're going to fix that in just a minute come on thank you nearly there And that's why we need to fix the lighting, boys and girls. 
<laughs> oh, at least he didn't blow up the stairs. Oh, joy. Okay. Got to love creepers. Well, at least he didn't blow up some of the stairs. Yeah, small, small mercies there. Small mercies. Anyway, okay. Let's get well. Let's get a torch up here anyway, because uh, I want to make sure this is lit enough. And let's go and try our lighting idea. So what I'm thinking of doing is let's just look at the colors, uh, look at the light level. So so here. We'll dig into, and then we should, let's change what we've got on the bar, and we'll put in glowstone, and we'll put some glass in front of it, and we'll repeat that way up. Let's just look at the colors. There we go, six. So this will be the next one. Imagine there's a wall here, we'll tunnel in this side, glowstone and then glass. I'm doing the same, let's get rid of some of these torches. Just so we know what the colours are like. The colours, the lights are like. And so we're going up here, 10, 8, 7, 6, this is the next one. So we'll tunnel in two. Basically rinse and repeat. So let's get one of those and then some glass in front of it. And one here. Just take these lights out again for a second just so we got the we understand what the lighting is like. So it's This square here, all right, so we we'll get this time we'll dig into here, which is a little bit harder because we're over the canyon, but still we can do that, and then we can do that, and we don't get to seven until we get up here. And I want to do, I want to try a different lighting idea here. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the other side here. And we'll have a look at the final, the finished version. So we'll pick it up then. Right, well that's done. That took me a good hour to get sorted out. And I've made a couple of changes as well, which you guys might like. You might not like. We shall find out in just a sec. So we're here in the nether. Let's set forth through the portal and see how things look. So the first thing I've done is I've moved the portal. It looked really horrible there and it looked really odd, but flush against that wall there, I think it's looking quite nice and the uh, the lights frame it quite well. I've moved these two lights up into the ceiling so they're not looking so standy outy. Got all the stairs in, I have all the walls in and I've kept the smooth stone motif on the stairs up. I might come back and replace these with inverted stairs so it looks a bit smoother but at the moment I think it's uh, it's looking a bit better, it's looking a bit even and then we go right way up the top here and into our, our house. So there we go that was the last bit I promised doing. I keep on looking out the front thinking, hmm, this place would look good with a garden. I don't think I want to do that just now. And there we have our mesa. As far as I'm concerned, pretty much done. The little house on the mesa is there for anyone who wants to come and mine some sand, some red sand, or some clay. And then they can come down here and pop into the nether. Uh, this bit I'm going to fix and make it look a bit better when we uh, actually get the uh, the nether railway up to uh, this place here which is going to be our, our terminus at this end or at least until we find something more exciting further down the line so this area here will be a little train station and if I can 
to show you here we are at 4078 negative 801 um, I've got the railway out now bound to about negative 500 so we still got a way to go but at least we're more than halfway there and as soon as we do get that done I'm going to do an episode on making a railway station here I think uh, so if you guys have any thoughts any suggestions do let me know okay I think that's enough for, for one night this is Santa Damien signing off Thank you, mm -hmm. and good night, yes.